been too long, Yada. What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. I appreciate you tuning in today. We're back here outside my house, but we got the Miata over here on the left hand side. If you guys watched my last video, you saw something extremely weird and unfortunate happened with the Nissan 350Z. I think we're having a misfiring issue. We brought it over to Top Notch Auto. This actually happened yesterday. And I'm actually gonna call them here in a few minutes just to kind of see what's going on, if they've looked at it or not yet. I know they're pretty busy over there, so if they haven't looked at it yet, you know, it, it's been literally, today's literally the next day, so I wouldn't be surprised. But, but anyways, I thought I would film today just because we're gonna be taking the Miata and driving it for the next few days because I don't exactly know what's gonna be going on with the 350Z. I haven't driven the Miata in forever. Got the keys right here on the ground. Yo, I love this thing. This thing, this thing is so much fun. Oh, you know what I forgot? We need the steering wheel. All right, we got it. I like to bring the steering wheel inside just because, you know, it's like an extra level of security. Do a little quick walk around. This thing is so sweet. And you know, it's not like mint or anything, but it's mint enough for me, which is all that matters, you know what I mean? Gosh, I just love the styling. This thing, it's like a sled. All right, guys, so I have kind of a dilemma. I don't exactly know what to do with this Miata. I know it kind of sounds crazy. You're probably like, what do you mean you don't know what to do with the Miata? Obviously, you drive it, you know, but not like that. I don't really know how to build this car. Like, I don't know if I want to weld the diff on the Z. This car has a lot of options, you know, I could just go totally retro and just leave this thing stock and then put, you know, some nice wheels on it, maybe get a hard top and just go for like a really clean stock look. I could make this a drift car, which is crazy and a lot of people are like, Johnny, you have 110,000 miles on your, your Miata, you can't make it a drift car, it's not old enough yet. And I understand, that makes a lot of sense. It's in pretty good condition, but then I also don't want to do, you know, the same exact normal build everybody does where they put like the same front lip on it, you know, the same side skirts, the same splitter and everything. You know. So let me know down in the comments what you want to see with the Miata. I'm totally down to do whatever. I do plan on turboing it eventually. The motor is super strong in this thing, so I'm excited to turbo it. I think it's going to make a lot of power someday. But like I said, let me know down below what you guys want to see and we can make it happen. We're going to actually go and take the Miata and get it smogged right now because I've been driving this thing. Actually, I haven't really been driving this thing at all. But let's start this up and we'll walk back down. I'll show you what the registration sticker says. It's actually hilarious. All right. The best thing about Miatas, you know, I mean, this thing's been sitting for like, what, 10 days? Watch this. Ready? I mean, what is that? Beautiful. But look, while we're back here, look at this. March of 2020. It's almost February of 2021, you guys. That's almost a year. Anyways, we're gonna take it over. We got this place, Jefferson Smog, that we love to go to with our cars. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar, but if your car is older than 1995, you actually can't use a normal, typical, like, smog test machine that they would normally use. So you actually have to use a specific one that's good for cars pre-1995, and this car is a 91, so we have to go to Jefferson Smog. They actually have one, which is super awesome of them. We're gonna head over there in a little bit. I'm gonna get something to eat, because I'm starving. And that's basically the plan for today. Thank you guys so much for tuning in once again. Let's do it. This Miata is literally perfect besides one thing that really is interesting to me. It's not a big problem, but it is a little weird. So when the AC is on and I push the clutch in and put it in neutral, the RPMs don't drop from 2K for about, I mean, just watch. Look, I mean, I'm in neutral right now. Look, neutral, nothing. I mean, it's still, it's spread pretty high, you know? But then right now, if I were to turn the AC off, it goes away, ready? I'm just gonna push this button right here. Explain that one. <laughs> Roger, ready? We're gonna turn the AC on again. It's really finicky, it's really weird, but see, it's going back down, so I don't know. Let me know if you guys know what's going on. Imagine going down the freeway and that anvil falls off the guy's truck and just like, I mean, that would just do some damage, man. <laughs> I gotta get off right here. This is where the schmog place is. Is it this one? No, it's the next one. All right, we found it. We went one entrance too far. Let's come down this way. Oh, they're kind of busy. All right, Jefferson smog. We good, grab what matters. Here we are. Awesome. Uh, just give us like, maybe like 20 minutes. Okay. Five minutes later. Okay, man. Uh, before we get it going, we yeah. did notice one thing that we need to get 
otherwise we'd have to tell you. Uh huh. So you see this hose right here? It yeah. can't have tape. So oh. I'm guessing it's probably cracked underneath. Not oh. a big deal. Get this hose replaced, bring it back, and then we'll test it. It's because on these vehicles, if it doesn't pass, you still have to pay. Yeah. So we try to avoid it, you know, as much as possible, you know, to help you out. Yeah. yeah. Something like that small, I mean, you could get a fix and bring it back. Okay. So once you get that fix, man, you can bring it back, and then we'll uh, be ready to test it for you. Okay, sounds right. good. I, I spent two grand just like this week fixing it. So. Oh really? Yeah. So I'm surprised that they would do that. Miss something like that, yeah. Yeah, especially a little hose. Like yeah. That. yeah. It's small, so. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man, you're good. Uh, you can just pull it out from here. Okay. Make sure you go straight back. Awesome. Thank you so much, you guys. Well, you guys, I'm just having some bad luck, okay? Like, oh my goodness, I can't, I mean, I'm kind of surprised to be honest. Okay guys, so he said it would normally pass, but there's tape right here. Uh, all right, well, I mean, that's the obvious reason why we failed there, visual inspection. Uh, at least it's not too bad, you know? The next day. It is the next day. Obviously you saw we failed yesterday, but we got it all fixed. Let's check it out what we did. Put this clamp on right here. Held it like a charm. Should be no reason to fail today. And if we do, we're going straight to top notch. Yeah. 1991 Mazda Miata. $70 plus, I think it's what, $10 for EVAP? At least it's every two years and not every year. I don't know if you guys follow the whole hedge fund thing, but taking over my mind, because every time I see that Jefferson Smog sign, it looks like a GameStop logo. GME to the moon, Dogecoin. I'm rereading this, and it, I think it was 60 and it's 70 now because of the $10 EVAP. It's all done, I think. Yeah, we'll meet you in time, man. Okay, awesome, thank you. It passed, all right, all done. Thank you, Jefferson Smog, once again, for the hospitality, as always. I'm just glad I didn't fail this time. It's a plus in my book. Doesn't it look like the GameStop logo? I'm tripping. Anyways, check it out, you guys. Look, at they gave me a $10 off on your next smog. Every time I bring this, I can get $10 off. And she gave it to me today, too, which is awesome. So the EVAP was basically free, which is cool. Let's do this. All right. We are 100% legal, boys and ladies. All smogged, 100% legal, super cool. Definitely, you know, I don't know, people like to give me a hard time, you know, they like to scare me. They like to be like, oh, you know, this might not actually pass. And I'm like, why? But it did, it did pass. He was just freaking me out for a little bit there. But anyways, uh, we're on the road again. We're legal. We don't have a sticker yet on the license plate, but... That should come in the mail pretty soon. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know we didn't do much, but you know, adventures in the Miata are always awesome and fun. So hit the like button, go ahead and drop a comment down below if you guys enjoyed this video and you wanna see anything in the future from me. And then please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. We're about to hit 2,000 subscribers and I love every single one of you guys. I really appreciate all the support and you know, it's just awesome that you guys are here and enjoying, like following along and just enjoying these videos because I love making them for you guys and knowing that someone out there is watching it and thinks it's cool and thinks it's fun and enjoys it also makes it 10 times more fun to do. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.